Welcome back to Book Break. I hope everyone had the best Christmas and is all now fully up to date on the brand new Watership Down series. I've been watching it and it is so good. Such a star-studded cast. It's got everyone in it from Nicholas Holt, my teenage crush back when he was in Skins, to James McAvoy, to Olivia Colman, to Ben Kingsley. Absolutely incredible cast. And the animation is so much more realistic than the old 70s film. I was a little worried that that might be a bit traumatic because my memory is of the original 70s film are quite scary but actually it's just so exciting and dramatic such a great storyline with just the right amount of scares in it so then I started thinking about all the other children's books that I was terrified of when I was younger and decided to revisit them and see if they're actually as scary as I remember and while I tell you about them I've come here today to Stepney City Farm so I can see some real life rabbits like from Warship Down and they are so cute you should definitely come and visit here they have so many other animals as well it's a really lovely place I will link to their website in the description box below. They're so cute! So on to the books, I am of course starting with Watership Down, but I've got the perfect book here for anyone who really was too scarred by the 70s original. This is a really cute new edition. It's written by Frank Cottrell Boyce and it's adapted from the TV scripts from the new show. So it looks beautiful. It's got this gorgeous blend of illustrations, stuff like this, which is actually stills from the show, blended with these gorgeous hand-drawn illustrations as well. And the framing of it is so clever. So it's written as if it's Bluebell telling a story to some baby rabbits so you see them throughout the book listening to the story and you even get their comments on the story so when everything gets a bit too scary you have these rabbits to talk to <laughs> so it's this really lovely nostalgic book that captures all of the magic of Watership Down all of the adventure and the teamwork of the rabbits but it's not quite as brutal and scary as the 70s original that you might remember also how could you not want this staring down at you from your bookshelf it's beautiful now another book that was one of my favourites when I was younger but did sometimes used to give me nightmares was Marianne Dreams by Catherine Storr. This is my own version so as you can see it's a bit tatty. So this book is about a girl called Marianne who develops an illness and she's stuck in bed for several weeks and while she's there she finds this pencil and she finds that whatever she draws using that pencil during the day she will dream about that night. So the first day she's drawn a house with a boy in it and then that night in her dreams she goes to that house and she meets the boy called Mark and discovers that he is trapped in the house. So it's this adventure about them trying to escape from the house using the things that Marianne can think of to draw during the day but sometimes she ends up making things worse and she accidentally draws these rocks surrounding the house that in the dream end up being spies and are listening to them and slowly moving closer to the house and it's absolutely terrifying that bit is as scary as I remember but the whole dark moody atmosphere of the book is actually what I love so much about it now because these children Marianne who's ill with an unnamed illness and Mark who is in a wheelchair are not the saintly invalid stereotypes. They're real and they're cranky and they get cross with each other and Marianne even causes some of the danger by being so cross with Mark at one point when she's drawing that she deliberately traps him further into the house. So that's what makes this book so much darker than a lot of the other children's books I was reading at the time. It's actually this very clever and brilliant, although yes, rather eerie story about facing your own fears. So I'm glad I faced my fears and reread this book. Some other stories that you might remember terrifying you as a child are the Grimm's fairy tales. Now these are not your Disney fairy tales. Some of the creepiest bits in this book include a mouse boiling herself alive, wives accidentally killing their husbands, and so many people getting their eyes pecked out by birds. But when I went back to reread these I found that they are actually completely enchanting. Yes they have some dark and disturbing parts but it's all part of this magical childhood world where good people are really really good and bad people are really really bad. Reading these stories feels like escape into the simpler days of being a child but with a few talking animals and evil witches thrown into the mix. And talking of witches, who else remembers being terrified by The Witches by Roald Dahl? For a kid with an imagination as overactive as mine was, this book was enough to have me believing that everyone I passed on the street was a witch. According to Roald Dahl's guidelines, witches all wear wigs but the wigs are so realistic that you wouldn't be able to tell, they all have claws on their hands but they wear gloves so you can't see them, and they have feet with square ends but they squeeze them into pretty shoes so you wouldn't be able to notice. That describes everyone you walk past on the street and I thought they were all witches. Rereading this one I actually think it might be even darker than I remember and I love it. It's got Rodal's signature way of making everything 
really dark, really, really funny. So yes, we're potentially surrounded by child-killing witches, but at least they all have a really great sense of humour. And finally, I picked up Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. Now, I remember being terrified of the Disney movie of this as a child, especially the scene where he almost gets turned into a donkey. So I don't think I ever actually read this original when I was younger because I was too scared. But now that I've picked it up as a grown-up, it's actually great. So Pinocchio himself starts out as kind of the worst, he's horrible to Geppetto, he does something really bad to Jiminy Cricket, and he keeps making these very well-intentioned promises to be better, but then breaking them almost instantly. But ultimately, he does have a good heart, and though the book does get pretty dark, it's actually just all about trying your best to be good, and that being good enough. So all of those books were a lot less scary and a lot more magical than I remembered as a child. So do leave a comment with the books that used to scare you when you were younger, and also comment below if you have been watching the new Watership Down, because I really want to hear everyone's thoughts on it. And next week on Book Break, we'll be kicking off our 2019 with our anti-New Year's resolutions guide. So do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that one, or any of the other videos that we post every single Thursday. And for now, Happy New Year!